Caitlin and I work with the Stuff You Can Use team and I am so excited to talk to you today about Slider. Slider is our presentation tool that we've made so that you can very, very easily get your slideshows onto your TVs using a streaming device such as Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, or if your smart TV utilizes the Google Play Store, you can download the Slider app right onto your streaming device and easily stream your slideshows right to your TV. Today, we're gonna be taking a closer look at our slideshows. So we know we have our feeds and then within our feed, we can have as many slideshows as we want. And whichever slideshow is toggled on is the one that will be on our TV. But we are going to create a slideshow. So to do that, we're gonna click add slideshow. And if you are a Grow subscriber, we have preloaded all of our content into slideshows already for you. So if you are a Grow Kids subscriber, you will see Grow Kids. If you're a Grow Students subscriber, you'll see Grow Students. If you're a Grow Groups subscriber, you will see that. So you'll only see what you are subscribed to and the volume that you're subscribed to. If you are, if you have multiple volumes, you'll see all of them. So you would pick the volume, you'd pick the series, and then you would pick the week, and then that would load into your slideshow and of course from there you can edit it but we are going to start from scratch so you can see all of the features of how to build your slideshow up here is the title of your slideshow so you can go ahead and edit that and then if you need to go back and edit it it's just an easy double click as well now let's start building our slideshow. So we have a blank slide. So let's go ahead and add a background. When you add a background, that's taking an image and stretching it across your entire slide. So you can also pick a color if you would rather pick a color, but we're gonna do an image. You can drag and drop or you can click and pick the image that you want. Hit save and it shows up there. Now we still have these text boxes that I don't want on my title slide, so I'm gonna select the text box, scroll to the bottom and hit delete for both of these. So we have a beautiful slide with the image stretched across it. Now I wanna add a bumper video. So you're gonna add a video, again, click or drag and drop, select your MP4 file. Now, once your video is ready to be loaded, you will see it here and you can click add new video and slide, and it will always bring your video up in a new slide. Now, say I want to duplicate this slide. Over here you'll see you have duplicate or delete. So I'm gonna duplicate this, and then I'm gonna move this bumper video up in between. These are really easy drag and drop to move, which is awesome. Now, if I wanna add a new slide, I can either add a new blank slide, which would pull this up, or I can import images as slides. So if you have maybe a bunch of images that you wanna import all at one time, you don't wanna mess with having to do add background on every single one, you can select those here. So I'm gonna do my big idea slide. I'm gonna get that loaded and then also my memory verse slide. And you can also just select multiply at one time if you wanna do that as well. If you hit import, you'll see they show up and I can delete this pesky blank slide. And again, I can move these around. If I wanna duplicate this to have a title slide between each one, I can do that as well. Now, let's get into using some of these features. So let's go ahead and put a background, a blank background slide. Okay, now I still have my title and subtitle, but hard to see them because they are black. So once you click on the font or the text, you can go ahead and edit it. You can change the font that you want. Let's change the text color. Let's have it be white. And then double click. You can change the size, anything that you want. Make it bold, underlined, anything that you want. If you wanna make it a little bit opaque, you can do that. If you want a border on this text box 
or a background color within the text box, you can do that. If I want to rotate it, I can. Like, you can get as crazy as you want. Move it around, put it here. Now we still have this guy, but I don't need it, so I'm going to delete it. Now let's put you back in the middle. So that's adding text, and you can add as many different text boxes as you want. Now let's say I want to add an image on top of my slide. So I don't want it to be my entire slide, I just want it to be a piece of my slide. Click image, let's just make this title slide. See, he's a little guy, and you can, we're gonna do this and move him here. So now we have our image and our text box. If you wanted to add music to your slide, you can do that and just, again, drag and drop a music file. If you want to add a playlist to your entire slideshow so it would continue to play throughout your entire slideshow, if you click playlist and toggle this on and then drag and drop your music there, you can do that as well. Turn that off. And then let's look at our slideshow settings. So we have as the 16 by nine, the 1280 by 720, but if you have a three by four ratio TV, you could do 960 by 720. If you want your slideshow to automatically play, you can pick how many seconds you want or minutes you want um, for each slide. Now you can't do this per slide, it has to be for the entire slideshow. Um, so if you choose 20 seconds, then your entire slideshow, every slide is going to advance after 20 seconds. If you wanted to put an image as the background for every single slide, you could do that here or a color. If you want your slideshow to repeat, if you're making like an announcement slideshow that's going to be playing in your lobby and you want it to start over automatically, you could toggle that on. If you want the slide numbers on your slideshow, you could toggle that on. Or if you want the grid lines on your slideshow, you could toggle that on as well. And then hit save. So there we have it. We have our slideshow. Now, if you want to preview it, make sure it looks right, you can hit preview and it will open up in another tab and you'll see it's counting down because it's going to advance after 20 seconds, but that's what it would look like and you can um, see that in your web browser. Once you are good with your slideshow, you want to always make sure that you hit publish. Publish means that it is getting your slideshow ready for TV. It doesn't necessarily mean that that will be the slideshow that is activated to be broadcast to your TV, but you always need to make sure that you publish a slideshow after you create it so that it works in the background to get your slideshow ready for your TV. Okay, and once it's published, it will tell you it's been published and you are ready to go. So you can click back out and there it is. Now, if you want this to be the slideshow that shows up on your TV, make sure that you remember to toggle it on so that you know your slideshow has been activated and you are ready to go. Now, if for some reason you are using Slider to create your slideshows, but you don't have the Slider app, you are using a different setup, but you wanna use this to make all of your slides, you can also click export and this will export all of these images into a file so that you can easily load those into whatever um, broadcasting system that you use for your slideshow. We hope that you love a slider. I know I love slider and keep watching our tutorial videos for more in-depth dive in other slider features.